really want to try and start off my day today with something relaxing. Honestly guys, I did not sleep the best last night. So I think this is going to be really relaxing. I'm going to do the 10 minute morning meditation for self love. I feel it's very on brand, so let's do that one. <laughs> by Great Meditation. I'll link the video I use down below. But right now we're gonna make some breakfast. This morning I really want to make, we have an avocado, so I want to make avocado on toast. Today I really wanted to do a video where I'm adopting healthier habits, trying out new habits and things that I've seen and I really want to adopt myself into my, my everyday life, into my morning routine. <laughs> combined with healthier habits and future self is already doing. I have an ideal version of my future self and this past year I've really tried to be my future self. Going into 2024, that person that I'm envisioning, I really want to become. I suppose this is living like my future self for the day. <laughs> inspired makeup go really heavy on with like skincare and stuff so it could be really fun if i show you guys kind of what products i'm using what look i create and do something like that so i did just wash my face and cleanse so i'm feeling all fresh um but i'm gonna moisturize up my face because i do when doing makeup the most important step is moisturizer or primer because it makes your base really hydrated i'm gonna use my pink little clip i'm gonna go in really light with the charlotte tilbury flawless filter there's definitely many ways to use this product you can really go full coverage with it if you want to or you can put on the littlest amount and it still will do wonders so today i'm gonna do like my under eyes because i've got bags today and i'm super tired we need to cover that up i'm gonna go in with this under my eyes and then just put on little spots on my face after I do this step, I've discovered that powder is literally, it is like the secret gatekeeping product that I never really know about because people aren't too loud about it unless I've been under a rock. But yeah, setting powder plays such a crucial in your makeup because it makes it look flawless. I was using this mini Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder. I've had this since the beginning of June and it is officially run out. And I did go and buy the full size version because I loved it so much. This is in the shade Vanilla. I love the setting powder. It is amazing. It is incredible. As well as that product, I also got gifted for Christmas a triangle sponge. You can apply your makeup in so many different ways and I definitely feel like I've gotten more into it. Before you apply your powder, if you pat it onto your hand like that, you can get more of an even look on your face instead of applying directly onto your face. So I've been just going over my palm like that and then I go on my face with it. This is the bronzing MAC powder. Clean Girl makeup isn't super bronzy. I just like to use it on my eyelids. It makes my eyes just look way better. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this. When I don't have mascara on, I look like a little bit of a zombie. One of my favorite things about makeup is 100% the highlight and blush. Blush, I love. Like, I love blush. Blush is my favorite thing ever. Now I'm gonna go in with the Pink Glow Highlighting Powder from Bobbi Brown. I need to buy a new one because the inside of it is like so cracked and like, it's messy. But yeah, I love putting quite a bit of this on because it really adds that shimmer. Now we're gonna find the mascara and the look's gonna be like all put together and pretty. See, you guys just have to trust the process because mascara makes it 100 times better. And I can't even do this whole thing looking like 
a little ghost. I'm so obsessed with how this makeup came together. I feel like it's my version of the clean girl makeup. It's got the super glowy, it's got the happy look to it with all the colors. I love this makeup look. There's definitely different interpretations of the clean girl aesthetic, the iron cold makeup, the whole matte look, the natural makeup. There are so many different ways to do your makeup. Personally, I love doing my makeup this way. I love a good rosy cheek and highlight. Less is more when it comes to coverage. I don't even do foundation anymore. As I mentioned to you guys this morning, I really wanted to have a productive morning to do some work. So that is what we're gonna do. Instagram photos. My top is from Zara and this bag is from Stradivarius. I really like the colors because this is like gray. Shorts are pink and the bag is very cute. I love, love Sherpa. Very excited about that. I'll show you guys how I take my Instagram photos and what are like key things where I'm taking my photos. Like natural sunlight is so crucial for when taking content or Instagram photos and the light here right now is perfect. Go to photo and I'll start like looking for where the lighting is the best. Here the light really does hit the wall really nicely. Today I'm taking photos alone so I will use attachment for my phone on my tripod and do self timer. I did buy this from Amazon so I will link it down below for you guys but it's really really helpful for taking content when you're alone shooting without someone with you. Also for TikTok I will take some videos as well so make sure you're filming in 4k and 24 that gets the best quality. Mm -hmm. 